Office of Superhuman Activities and Recreation, or OSHAR, is to facilitate and monitor the activities of all superheroes and villains in the country. Now, as part of that, we try to assign a superhuman with uh, their appropriate arch nemesis. And so, uh, Mr. Vic here is going to be asking you a few questions to determine what kind of villain you are so that we can uh, assign a superhero to you that best suits your needs. Okay. Sounds good. So, uh, Clock Eye, was it? Uh, yeah. Why don't you uh, start off by telling us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Well, it's okay. No pressure. We're all friends here. Well, I'm a super villain. Oh, oh, hold on. We haven't decided that yet. Slow down there, guy. <laughs> right. Um, well, uh... Do you have any superpowers, or...? No. But I, I have this... Watch for an eye, yes, we see that. Oh, I get it. So, some kind of, like, freak accident drove you insane, which forced you to wear watch over your eye or something, that kind of thing. Yes. Does it do anything? Well, it, it tells time. Um, yeah. You're off by a couple of hours. Well, I mean, it, it does other stuff, too. <laughs> like, um, uh, wait, shh, 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 Okay, safe now. Super sensing No, you don't have super senses. Yeah. Now, uh, can you change time? Uh, travel to the future? No. What about, uh, you know, like a battle cry? <clears throat> what? I mean, I, I guess I never really thought about it. Give it a shot. Um, okay, uh, here goes. Uh... Uh, ha, ha, ha. No, um... no. Think of it more as a, a roar, a, a chant, a, a slogan. What would you say to strike fear in the hearts of your enemies? Okay, yeah, uh, you, you know. Now that you put it that way, uh, I, I guess I, I do have something. Um, <clears throat> Clock eye! So... Why... Clock eye? Well, I mean, have the watch. Exactly. It's a watch, not a clock. Yeah, why not watch eye? I tried watch eye and it sounded dumb, okay? It sounds like a hero's name. It's like, uh, I'm watching out for you or, or I'm keeping an eye on you. Sir, oh, calm goodness. down. I'm trying to be a super villain here. Be cool, honey bunny. Clock eye. Okay, clock eye. We're all friends here. Supportive environment, okay? okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. Cool, cool. Um, why did you decide to be a supervillain in the first place? 
Uh, I was born a supervillain, okay? <laughs> I didn't just decide, alright? I mean, like, I, I am a supervillain. Uh, I am Clockeye! So, Clockeye, what do you do? Well, um... Let's just say I, uh, keep tabs on a certain, uh, Sir Lightning. So, so... So you know the secret identity of Sir Lightning? Well, uh... He is crafty, <laughs> but uh, I'm close, real close. <laughs> man, crafty, crafty man. <laughs> so is there anything else you need to tell us? Well, uh... Okay, great. That just about wraps everything up here. If you'd kindly... Wait, Vic. So here's the thing. Yes. We might have a superhero that would work for you. Really? Is it Sir Lightning? <laughs> <laughs> not Sir Lightning. However, there is one dilemma. Yeah, he's got a sidekick. Now, potentially, you would be strong enough to take on the superhero alone by himself, but with a sidekick, not so much. So, I mean, what can I do about it? I, I mean, I'm ready. I, I need an arch nemesis. Well, on the outside chance that you could find a sidekick, but a sidekick for a supervillain? Super sketch. Indeed. See, supervillains tend to be inclined to stick to henchmen, mm -hmm. but with your finances, that's <laughs> just not a possibility. I mean, I mean, with union wages these days, through the roof. Through the roof. So let's say you find yourself a sidekick. Uh, you could. Come back in a couple of weeks. Maybe more. Maybe more, and then we could interview the two of you and see what works out. Do you have any more questions or? Yeah. Uh... Great. Well, there's people out there waiting for us, and you have our card, so uh, feel free to give us a call on our toll free number, you know, sometime soon. And uh, we'll it was touch. nice. Yeah, it was nice meeting you, Clock Eye. Oh, and could you send the next person in, please? Whatever. I, th I thought it would make him feel better. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, well, nice going. Now we have to interview him again. Well, not necessarily, you know. I mean, what are the chances he's gonna find a sidekick, right? You know? 